Uh, Chris, let's start off with Coastal Carolina, a 14-point favorite on the road at Buffalo. Now, I, I got to tell you, my line on this was 9. <laughs> it has ballooned up to 14. I think it opened at 10 or 11, and it has jumped all the way out there. Uh, people not very impressed with how Buffalo looked against Nebraska. I, If I got to take a side, I'm going to take Buffalo because I feel like it's too many points. Uh, they're playing at home. They played from behind a lot. Kyle Van Trees threw like 50 times against Nebraska. That is not in their wheelhouse. I think they have a shot to at least keep this thing close. My favorite play on it would probably be the over 57 and a half. But because we are playing against the spread, because we're doing pick them against the spread, I'm going to take uh, Buffalo plus the 14. So I, I don't like this number at all. It's, it, it's real, real big, and, and it's something that scares me. But I think, I think I'm going to go the other way. I think Coastal Carolina, I'm using this terrible logic, okay? I'm using circular reasoning. I think Coastal is better than Nebraska, and Nebraska beat the hell out of Buffalo. Buffalo's going home. Buffalo will probably play better. But will they play 15 points better? I don't think so. I think the defense for Coastal is better than the defense for Nebraska. I think if Buffalo struggled to score against Nebraska, I think they're going to struggle to score in this game. So, I don't know. I, I'm going with Coastal. I'll take the shot. I, I can I can understand that. Obviously, it's a big number. I don't yeah. like it, but that's, you you and I that's just my thought. You and I both the big fans of Jamie Chadwell and what he's building there. But yeah, it's a really big number. But who knows exactly what Buffalo is? Are they the team that destroyed Wagner or the team that got destroyed by Nebraska? Like both of that's those right. seemed plausible at the beginning of the season, whether or not Leipold was there or not. So. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But Maurice Lingus, uh, you know, this is this is his time to shine. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.